So I want you guys to imagine this. You're sitting at work and all of a sudden you get a text. Text tells you to go look at an app. You go look at the app and there's a picture of a buck that just walked in front of your tree stand or a bear or a coyote or whatever. This is the reality now. We have the ability to wirelessly communicate, not only to get the pictures from our cameras, but also to set our cameras, to actually check to see how they're doing, check the status of the battery. This is all a reality now, uh, thanks to this new product called the uh, Moultrie Mobile, introduced by Moultrie in 2016. Uh, I believe it's gonna revolutionize game cameras. But before I get into that, let me set the stage for how I'm gonna do this review, because it can be a little different than the other reviews I've done in the past. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of stuff around setup. There's a lot of stuff around features in the application. So I'm gonna focus in on five key areas for this review, and we're gonna get into some degree of depth with all five of them. We're gonna talk about setup. We're gonna talk about data plans, photo delivery, features, and then finally, I'm gonna give you results of the camera. Uh, but before I get, get into the, those five sections and the kind of an in-depth review on those five sections, uh, let me give just a high-level overview of how the system works so that way you understand you know, what it is to, to get this thing working and what you need. First, Moultrie Mobile only works with multi-trail cameras uh, produced in 2015 or later. That's something you have to know. Second, you will need to activate your Moultrie Mobile device. Activation takes place after you set up a new account on MoultrieMobile.com and choosing a monthly data plan. There are several options to choose from depending on your needs and your budget. Third, uh, the third thing you'll need is a good cell signal. Uh, this is important. Uh, wherever you intend to put this camera, you have to have a good cell signal. That is an absolute um, prerequisite. Doesn't have to be a perfect cell signal, it just has to be good and it really should be consistent. Once your account and data plan is active and you have confirmed your hunting area as a good signal, the final step is placing your camera in the field, uh, just like I have done here. And if all goes well, you'll have remote access to both your photos and your camera settings. Now let's get into more detail. All right, so let's talk about setup. So after receiving my device, the first thing I did was I read the manual. I can't stress this enough. You have to read the manual. Uh, there are things you have to do uh, in order to get this mobile device and your camera to work together. Pay attention to this or you'll be frustrated. The good news is it's relatively easy and it worked for me on the first try. So that's good news. Now it's important to set up your mobile unit and your camera at home first. Uh, don't do it in the field. Uh, after everything is working at home and transmitting, then move it to the field. And that's exactly what I did in this case. So let's take this step by step. Step one, make sure your Moultrie camera is compatible with Moultrie Mobile. That's important. Basically, if your Moultrie camera was manufactured in 2015 or later, it should work. Step two, you will likely need to upgrade your camera's firmware. Uh, this is an important step and it's pretty easy. Go to that same page where the compatible cameras are listed and click on your particular trail camera. Then download the firmware update file onto an SD card, put the SD card into your camera, and navigate to the menu called Update Firmware. It's right there on your camera's system settings in your camera's menu. You only have to do this once, but it is necessary. Step three, create an account on MultriMobile.com and choose a data plan. Uh, I went with the large plan on one of my cameras. I went with a small plan on my second camera. It's just what I needed. Once you have registered and paid for the, the plan, uh, then you can activate your device. What you do is you go to my account, then activate modem. On the back of the camera, you're gonna see two numbers, a serial number and ID number. Enter them both on this page. If you follow the steps in the manual correctly, you should be good to go. This setup step is only required one time. So let's look at plans and costs, because this is the part that everybody's first reaction is, oh, if I've got to pay something monthly, then forget it. I don't want anything to do with this. But you do have to buy these plans. There is a monthly fee associated with it. The good news is there is absolutely zero uh, setup. Uh, there is no contract, no cancellation, no penalties. So that's the great news about these plans. You can set them up. The other thing which I want to stress is that Moultrie has made it very interesting. And, and after I had, I was walked through these plans and I got to understand what they're doing, I kind of liked it. 
you can scale up your plan anytime you want. You can scale it down anytime you want. They also have this thing called maintenance mode. So what you can do is September, October, November, you may want to take a thousand pictures a month. So you may need a large plan for that. And you can scale it up to a large plan. After November, after you've killed your buck and you've gone home, you can actually put your plan into what's called maintenance mode, which I think is like $5 a month. Uh, so that will maintain your plan. Uh, however, it's very low cost. And then next year, when you fire your Moultrie Mobile and your game camera up again, all you need to do is just upgrade the plan again and you're good to go. So you have to pay for the plans. There's lots of flexibility. You can put them in maintenance mode and it's a really interesting concept. So let's talk about photo delivery. So you'll get a text alerting you that there's a photo. You fire up Moultrie Mobile's app like I do on my iPhone uh, and then you can go and view the picture that just got uploaded. Now there are three settings for uploading, immediate, once a day batch, or two a day batches. So that's the way it works. You have control over the notifications. Uh, you can choose to have this thing notify you. You can turn off the notifications. I found the upload feature very reliable, very flexible, uh, and, and it worked great with the application. So um, just terrific. All right, so let's talk about features. So this is the Moultrie mobile device. There's virtually nothing on it. There's a battery compartment, and then there's a set of graphs on the side of it. You can hit a button uh, and you can check your uh, status of your battery and chat status of the signal. That's all there is to the Moultrie Mobile. It connects directly to your trail camera. Uh, Moultrie Mobile can be accessed in two ways. The first way is with an app. So there's a Moultrie Mobile app on my cell phone right there, you probably can't see it, but there's a Moultrie mobile app and then I can get all my pictures and I can see, in fact, here is a picture of me doing this interview. <laughs> so we're working. Uh, so anyways, you can, you can set this thing up and it will send the pictures to an app that you can check from anywhere, anytime on your smartphone. Uh, there's also an application that works on your PC or Mac and that application is, is just a website. So as long as you can navigate to a website, MoultrieMobile.com, you have complete access to this. So not only can I check my pictures on my phone, I can now also check the settings and change the settings of the camera. So let's take a look at that. So here in this example, you can see my modem battery status, my camera battery status, and the capacity of my chip. Uh, I can also see how I'm tracking against the plan and I can also see the status of um, the signal. You know, how strong is the signal here on this camera? That's all really, really neat to have. Uh, but it's more than just status. I can change these settings. So let's talk about that. Let me show you how to do it. In this example, I'm going to change the detection delay from one minute to 10 seconds. You go to MoultrieMobile.com, choose cameras, dashboard, then edit settings. Scroll down to detection delay, and I'm going to change this to 10 seconds. Click save, and I'm done. That's it. Now I can change that. So if I start seeing a big buck coming in, and I want to get more pictures of him, and I want to you know, get better pictures of him, I can change the detection delay. I can change the resolution of the pictures. I could change from taking one photo, which is typically how I set it up, to doing a three-shot burst. I have all the flexibility as if I'm sitting right at the camera from my cell phone or my PC. That's awesome. Uh, but let's talk about what you can also do with your photos uh, because it goes way beyond just setting the camera and doing um, and just editing the modes and things like that. Uh, at the top of the same page, click pictures. All the photos upload, uploaded will be available, available to you there. Uh, if you click on them, you can do all sorts of things besides viewing them. Uh, you can delete the photo, you can download a high resolution image, uh, you can even do some basic adjustments like contrast and, and lightness, lightness and things. Uh, you can also contrast your photos. One thing I found really neat is if you're like me where I'm doing trail camera surveys and I want to see if I'm getting more activity on a food plot you know, with a full moon, I can actually sort by the moon phase. <laughs> That's really cool. 
uh, because Moultrie sends all that information back to Moultrie Mobile, uh, and then you can actually do some, some pretty interesting things by sorting all your pictures. Now, I've got a couple hundred pictures or more already, um, and I did a sort of how many were on the full moon, and it just pops right up. That's really cool. So I could spend an, two hours just doing, going over all the features. So I'm not gonna do that. Just understand that they've done a really good job. Uh, they have set up, they put a lot of thought into this and whoever developed the website did a great, great job with the design. I've not had any issues with either the mobile app or the website. Um, again, if you're not technically proficient, you might stumble around a little bit because there's a lot going on again. However, I've not seen any issues. It worked very well for me. So in conclusion, <laughs> I'm really impressed with this multi-mobile thing. Uh, it worked flawlessly for me. And honestly, I thought it was going to be a little bit more frustrating than it was. It works great. There are costs to the plans. Get over that. Uh, you can't expect any company to connect a cell phone and give it to you for free. I think the prices are reasonable and, you know, you especially since you can put in hibernation, you can scale it up and scale it down. There's no activation fees. There's no contracts. You know, it's the, I, so I, I, I think the plans are fine. I found the setup to be relatively easy. Um, there's a few steps you have to follow uh, or you'll be frustrated. I want to stress that. Uh, and if you're, this scares you, setting this thing up scares you, then by all means, um, find a kid, <laughs> find an 18 year old, you know, find your niece or nephew or grandson and they'll be able to bang this thing right out. I'm going to bring this up just in passing. I'm not going to get into the ethical considerations of whether you should or should not have immediate photos sent to you from the field. All right. I know this will be debated for years on bowsite.com as this becomes more and more mainstream. Um, however, I'm not going to get into it. I'm getting into, I'm just doing, focusing this entire review on whether this works. Yes, it does. Whether it was easy to set up. Yes, it was. Um, and whether it was reliable and had good features and it was outstanding in all of those aspects. So that's all I'm going to focus on. You guys want to debate how cool this is or how terrible this is or, you know, whether this is cheating, whatever, have at it. Go to bowsite.com forums. You guys know where they are. Uh, and then just bang away at it. That's not what this review is about. There is one negative, one serious, serious negative, and I want to bring it up, and that is it is totally addictive. So if you're an OCD personality, stay away from Moultrie Mobile because every time you're going to get a text, you're going to be downloading that, that picture on, from your app. You're going to be obsessed with this thing. So overall, this thing was great. It worked great. I'm very impressed with it. You've been hearing it's been going off for the last, you know, uh, five minutes of this interview. So it, it works terrific. And I think you guys that really, that there it goes again. <laughs> I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. So thanks for watching our review. Thanks for visiting bowstack.com. Have a great hunting season.